Basin Electric, on behalf of the Missouri Basin Power Project, has reached a tentative settlement with the EPA. The lawsuit focused on the Clean Air Act's regional haze program for Laramie River Station near Wheatland, Wyoming. Instead of having to install selective catalytic reduction on all three units of the coal-based power plant as the EPA had proposed, the settlement requires only Unit 1 will need an SCR, while selective non-catalytic reduction will be installed on Units 2 and 3. Basin Electric Attorney Anine Lambert talks about the history of the lawsuit and next steps toward finalizing the settlement. The settlement process began in 2014 when the EPA disproved um, the state of Wyoming's state implementation plan for regional haze. Uh, the EPA replaced that SIP with its federal implementation plan, um, which would require the installation of three SCRs on all three units at Laramie River Station. Um, this technology package would have cost about $800 million. Um, at that time, Basin Electric, on behalf of MBPP, initiated litigation in the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals and requested a stay of litigation. In September of 2014, the Tenth Circuit granted that stay of litigation. Um, and from that point, uh, Basin Electric reached out to the Mediation Office in the Tenth Circuit to start settlement negotiations. The settlement was finalized and published in the Federal Register on December 30th, 2016. Um, it's now open for a 30-day public comment period. Um, once that comment period closes on January 30th, there, will still, there are still a couple steps left to finalizing the settlement. Uh, we expect that to be a that the settlement will be finalized in about a year or so. I'd like to mention that this settlement was made possible in part by Governor Matt Mead. Um, he has diligently fought the EPA and worked to keep Laramie River Station fully operational. There are about 330 employees at Laramie River Station. The addition of the SCR to Unit 1 and the SNCRs to Units 2 and 3 will create employment for more than 200 construction workers.